Dan Rather, the former CBS Evening News anchor, has reported on just about every major event and election since the 60s when he first started out. Now he's kicking off a new season of his popular series, The Big Interview. So who's he talking to? Dan joins us with that. It's great to have you back on The Blend. Good morning. Well, thank you, Mary. Always good to be with you. The fourth season features nine new episodes. Who will we see, Dan? Well, the big interview, these are one-hour interviews interspersed by highlights of the interview subject's career. Uh, we're beginning this particular season with Neil Young. Uh, that'll be on Tuesday, September the 13th at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, followed by Matilda McBride, mm -hmm. Olivia Eaton, john It's that kind of lineup. These interviews are designed to be like nothing else on television. First of all, the length, depth, and breadth of the interviews. Mm -hmm. You can't watch them and not learn a lot, of, not, not just about the interview subject, but about life in general. Because in the case of Neil Young, he has a new album out called Earth, but everybody knows Neil Young. He was once part of Cosby, Stills, and Nash, mm -hmm. which we also have, have interviewed. So it's, I'm very proud of these interviews. Mm -hmm. I still do, you know, I'm covering the presidential elections. I still do investigative journalism. Mm -hmm. uh, but this particular program on Access TV has become near and dear to me because, frankly, I'm learning a lot doing these interviews. But specifically, you know, Neil Young is more than a rock legend. So what did you learn about him as an activist? I'm curious about that. Well, first of all, uh, I was very interested in how he handled He had polio when he was a, a young child. I had rheumatic fever when I was a young child and could relate to that. And I think just talking to him about that was one of the more interesting parts of the interview, how the effect of having polio and feeling yourself a cripple, quote unquote, at a very young age, really sort of centered him and is, I think, the key to understanding as to why he's had such a successful music career. Of course, I was also interested, I think most people would be, you know, he's had an up and down relationship with Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, sometimes with Young. So sort of inside the music business. One of the things we try yeah, to do, Mary, with these is interviews everything. is take you inside, take you behind the scenes. Important. And uh, I think, frankly, without being braggadocio about it, mm -hmm. that we succeed in doing that. We know this is one of the things that's made the interview so popular on TV. Mm -hmm. Sticking with music, but a different genre. Martina McBride is another name that stands out to me this season. As stars go, she seems to me to be so grounded. What did you take away from your time with her? Well, grounded is the word for her. You know, it's, uh, the poet John Donne once said, it's harder to catch a falling star than to find a beautiful woman whose heart is true. Aww. With uh, McBride, her heart is true. You know, she's very family-centered. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be hard to, for you to find any star of her magnitude who is more grounded than she is, that has a, a better sense of who she is really as apart from all the stardom and the celebrityhood. Uh, she's a remarkable woman, and in this interview, which uh, the program takes a full hour and we go through some of her the highlights of her career, you can't watch this interview and not understand how deep and broad this woman is. It, she's much more than just a, you know, a, a super mega star singer. Uh, as a person, she runs deep and, and, and she's got a lot of deep thoughts. It all, most of it centered about family. Mm -hmm. And I know somebody might say, oh, well, I don't want to hear about family again. But you listen to her talk about her loyalty to her husband and to her family, and it's inspiring. Dan, we're almost out of time. Can I get one name of who's on your wish list looking ahead to next season? Well, uh, we have a big <laughs> wish list. I, I'd love to do Bruce Springsteen. Uh, we don't have an yeah. agreement from Bruce Springsteen. Uh, but he'd be right up near the top of my list. Okay, the big interview returns to Access TV on Tuesday at 7 o'clock here in our neck of the woods. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Mary. Always good to be with you. Likewise. One celebrity.